What the fuck are you looking at? What are you looking at? Ugh. Oh! No! No! No, no, no! You stay the fuck away! <laughs> Get away! The arms is in the house, baby, and welcome back once again to my next episode of VGR Let's Play. So, there will be people be asking me to request to play this game of Garden of Ban Ban and stuff, and I'm willing to go along with it considering of how popular this game has gotten. And uh, there's other uh, future gameplay I want to play for you guys in uh, future streams or whatever. Anyway, I want to jump into this game, I want to make a separate episode for like episode 1, 2, 3 for this one, and uh, as soon as we get into episode 4, then. I'm definitely going to be recording myself and then get myself out on the band rack. And so anyway, welcome to the game of Garden of Ban Ban. Even though you can see Ban Ban and all the other characters along with it. And let me just, just say that I'm actually I'm looking forward to it. Because I have seen other people play it on the Let's Play on um, on their other channels and such. So I'm like, you know what, I might as well get myself in the band rack and just say, Hey, have you played this game? Yes, I have. Here's a playlist. Right here. So anyway. Without further ado, let the gameplay begin. This is going to be a straightforward let's play and then just have fun with the game. For a parent looking for their missing child, oh I say children, missing child, time is a delicate matter. Click the clock to advance forward. Like anything changes, whatever. What the fuck? What's up with this? Ooh. And the door is all open. Like everything is like barricaded earlier, and it's all open all of a sudden. And there's like a little fucking streak mark on the wall. Like, what the fuck happened? And everything went dark before you even knew it. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, I know how to fucking use the arrow or the uh, wasp uh, movement. Yeah, I had to press E to interact. I'm using. Oh. Are you using pressing E to interact with Seth then? Oh no, I just pressed out the Seth button to Seth as well. I prefer to play with the keyboard control when it comes to first person because it's more fun. Ooh, we got a little key card right here. Like, the difference of playing the actual game and watching people play is a totally different experience because, like, you can watch the people play the game all you want and stuff, but experiencing the gameplay itself is a whole nother story. Let me see here. Get this sucker open. Oh, this is a fucking drone right here. How do I interact with this thing? T two batteries? Dear mommy, I am hiding in a room, but I have to fight the monsters. And literally say me and Claire. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it is the only chance to make uh, Claire like me. Oh, so you playing hero. That's adorable. I love to have kids. Like, uh, I like to have my own uh, child someday. Then again, my future generation is watching me saying, You have us right now. I love you kids, if you're watching me. <laughs> it wasn't there earlier with the fucking batteries. Hey there, little drone. What's up? And the next thing you know, it actually talks to you. What's up? Press mouse to uh, play with your toy. To my understanding, you just have to press this. Press mouse to teleport the spot. Okay. Instantaneously. I aim for that one. Control can be accessed mm -hmm. uh, anytime you press the pause button. Alright. So pressing the right mouse is uh, uh, immediately. Oh, jeez! A fucking bird. What the fuck are you looking at? What are you looking at? Ugh. You are a fucking creep. <laughs> what the fuck are you looking at? It's like, ooh, I see you. I see you. You look delicious. Mmm. 
I definitely want you to be packed so I can eat you on the inside. <laughs> That's what the fucking bird is looking at. It's saying to me. I think it has an evil mind. What the fuck are you even saying exactly? What the fuck? Is that glass behind it? The end is here. Toy cannot not be directly commanded by breakable materials, such as the yellow glass. Are you fucking kidding me? Get your ass over here and just fucking fly into it. Yeah, you just have you just fly right into it. That's a big now, no. Batman says, sharing is caring. Your pancreas is mine. Well, I don't want you to be having my ass. Fuck you. My ass is mine and mine alone. Alright. Come over here, please. Okay, so no matter what you do by pressing the right click, all of a sudden, it's just gonna be at that little spot. Oh yeah, that legit hurt. Alright. It won't fucking interact with that. Uh, God damn it, fucking glass. Captain Fiddle says, Ooga booga booga ooga. <laughs> Bambolina says, Kindness is, a fr is free. Sprinkle it everywhere. I'll just sprinkle all the fucking... Kindness to all those around me. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. What else? So basically, we need to code code a car in order to gain access to certain areas. Oh, egg. The armchair likes to do a little egg hunting. Get your ass over here. There's another egg right here. Next thing you know, I'm her playing Banjo Kazooie again. I already did that on the last time on my stream. Bring a fan day. Okay. Caution. Peel slowly. I can't even argue with that. It just shows me little pictures of it. You fly into that? Okay, that's a big no no. Okay. And there's that fucking bird right there who was staring at me earlier. It's like, mmm. Ball pit. Ophelus bird. Mission. Ophelus bird is unbelievably hungry. Feed it six eggs to get your prize. Wouldn't that be considered cannibalism to you guys? If it was a reptile, that's an understandable statement, but. Actual birds like them? Then again, that is debatable. I have seen some other birds actually eat other birds. Like crows, seagulls, and all that shit. They would eat little innocent baby birds. I have seen it. It was gruesome. Not pleasant to look at. It's a fucking bird right here. I guess that was for that switch up ahead. Oh. Uh, I can't even go in there. I, I know I guess a spread. Okay. How many eggs do I have exactly? Four? Fly into that. At least that's exposed. And there goes that egg. One more egg. Okay. Where's the last one? What the fuck? Buffalo bird. Um, where's the last egg? Oh, there it is. That's what I always like to do, like, do the little nooks and cranny search. I like, search every nooks and cranny as possible just to get by. Okay. I'm just gonna end up with you and just feed you with this. 
fuck is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Thinks you know, he just started merging and attacks you. The fuck? Ew. Ow! It's like literally covering saliva. Ew. It's a yellow card. Whew. Okay, um. There's no color coded card for that one except for this one. Get over here. Okay, now can I fly into it? Are you fucking kidding me? Get out there. Really? Um, can you crash into that? You told me you can't crash into your little glass. Now you say you could? That's a bunch of hypocrisy right there. A little bit of misguidance, if I may add. Alright. I got me the hammer. Distraction. Distraction at one. What do you mean by that? Can I use a hammer to smash a computer? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get your ass over here. Oof. Get the fuck away. Yeah, I just did that, genius. And also, I'll keep an eye on you. Like, also, can I look at this? Oh, I could. That's all I was supposed to do. Laughter is the best medicine, so make sure to smile. Ophelia Burst says that. Oh, okay. The music get all ominous all of a sudden. Oh god. Okay. So I need to get the color coder all set up properly. What the hell is this? I alone. I want to play with the whole bird, but everyone left me. Everyone have party uh, without me. Miss Mansion uh, see me, but go. Okay. I am scared, but because Hull is loud and my friends scream in it, but bird is funny. I honestly don't know that I wrote that. Because I do know this one's supposed to be red. Oh. Oh. Did I mean to do that? Okay, stay out there. Okay. Wasn't it supposed to be white? Yeah, she was right. You're green. You're pink. You're gray, I believe. Or it could be blue. Okay. I'll just put you blue. And you orange. Because I remember um, seeing the jellyfish, so the thumbnail for that is a. Oh, jeez. Oh! No! No! No, 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 no! You stay the fuck away! <laughs> Get away! 
No. No, no. You, you don't fuck with the armster. Uh. No. No, no. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. It, it, just, just be cool. Uh, just don't, don't come close. Get away from the armster. No. No. No! Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Ah! Yeah! Oh! Fuck that! Well, that was a huge thud. Better you than me. <laughs> that honestly gave me the chills. Do I even have the purple card? I do not. That was fucking creepy. It's the uh, first day to get you so set up and get uh, adrenaline pumping. Okay. Simple and clean. Decently gameplay. Okay. Okay. I wonder if I could find the purple card. Like, um, if there is a purple card around here, then I'm gonna try to find it. I mean, it'd be nice to see a purple card right here. I can't in interact with it. Gotta be something visible, but I don't say shit. Oh, there is something. It wasn't here earlier! For you? Oh. Oh. That was disturbing. And as Stink of Flint says, having many arms allows me to uh, help a lot of a lot more people. Even though I didn't get a chance to say Jumbo Joss on says, eat vegetables and fruits to become strong, like me. Well, you got that part right. I've seen videos of you doing that kind of stuff. And strong and bloody massive. Huh. It is surprising what you can find when you backtrack a little and say, uh, I didn't expect to see something like that. Okay. Um. Creative area. Um, is there anything else? Because, like, the chapter ends if you go all to the little elevator. Because you never know what you find. I just found the tape that wasn't there earlier. I didn't get a chance to read this one. I don't remember seeing this earlier. Boarding Pass, Altman Adam. That's basically his full name. From until MTL. Uh, okay. This TN, okay. Uh, huh. Present a check-in. Huh. Is there anything else that I am missing? Is there something for me to interact with? Because when you see something at least expected, you can actually use it for your own advantage. I wonder if that bird is going to show up here again. I will suck if it did. I'll scream my ass off. Oh, jeez. I didn't even notice the little foot tracks on that spot. Can't even summon it anymore. Or can you? Nope. Alright. I basically looked at every nooks and cranny. Because, like, if there was a purple card and such, I'm pretty sure I could have missed it by now. But, um, I don't see it at all. 
I can't interact with anything. I'm guessing, like, wouldn't the purple door be used for the, the last of the game after you make your escape? I'm just gonna say it at a hunch that it is possible for that. Oof. This is fucking creepy as shit. Oh, jeez. What the fuck? Ooh! What's with the fucking noise? What the hell? Oh, God! Jumble Jam! Oh! Ah! Ah! Now! God damn! There goes Jumbo Joe all tossing me into a pit. Thank you for playing, even though I already fucking got the second game already on my little inventory. We'll get back into this gameplay. Alright, that was interesting. The first day of the, uh, or the first gameplay is pretty fun again too, like it just gives you a taste of what the game is all about. I like the idea. So, the next time we jump into this game, we're going to be in, uh, getting into episode 2, and we're going to run into Ban Ban. I thought he was Ban Ban, the green guy, but he's Jumbo Jim. But then also the red guy is Ban Ban himself. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of me playing Garden of Ban Ban. And, um, what's the best way to say this? It's actually an interesting you know, horror game. It's like, making a the game is hard, it's understandable. But I like the creativity they added into this game. It's really cool. So, I also saw some footage of the one, uh, you get yourself chased by massive creatures in this game. I guess until, like, later at the end of the series, it says that it makes you want to play a game that's saying, how do you solve this? How do you get yourself out of it? Uh, I'm really interested. I'm, 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 uh, I'm basically, uh, hooked onto this gameplay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of me playing Garden of Ben Ben. Or even though it's Kindergarten. So anyway. If you guys like this episode, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification, and share those who may like this content in the future. That being said, I'm the Fitty Game Requester, and the Arthur says, catch you in the next episode, baby. Peace.